Hello students, welcome back to my channel JP Physics. In previous lectures of this rotational dynamics, we have discussed about angle of banking. What is the formula for that angle of banking? That is theta is equal to tan inverse of V square upon Rg. And also we have discussed numericals of uh, depend upon that formula. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss about what will be the formula for lower speed limit when the vehicle is traveling around, along a curved bank road. Okay, so let us consider that part that is lower speed limit for bank road. Lower speed limit in case of a bank road. See, when we discussed the formula for angle of banking in last lecture, um, previous lecture, uh, that formula was that is V square upon Rg is equal to tan theta. And from this V was Rg under root Rg tan of theta. Here we have not discussed or not considered the factor that is friction. Hmm? No any factor including in this formula of friction. But when we are going to consider the lower speed limit or also upper speed limit for bank road, we are going to consider the friction. Friction uh, that is acting between the tire and the road. Only by considering this friction, we can find out the upper and lower speed limit for the vehicle when it is traveling along a bank road okay because this friction will provide that limit upper or lower limit will get provided by this friction between the tire and the road so let us discuss how we can derive this formula for the lower speed limit when the vehicle is moving along a banked curved road okay for this first i will draw one diagram see if this is horizontal road and this is inclined means this section we are not going to see but the inclined road is banked at angle theta with the horizontal now we will consider one vehicle here. Okay. First we have to consider the FBD for this vehicle. Free body diagram. That is all the forces acting on this body. That is on this vehicle. Now we know always the downward direction force. It is weight force Mg. The force acting on this vehicle in downward direction that will be Mg. Now the normal reaction will be perpendicular or normal to this inclined road. Correct? We will consider the component of this normal which is going to balance this weight force Mg and also it is going to provide the centripetal force. Centripetal force that is force required for the circular motion directed towards the center and this is the direction towards the center. So we will split this normal into its two components that is n cos theta and n sin theta. See that components will be like this. One will be vertical and another will be horizontal. Now, if you see the geometry of the diagram, if this angle is theta, correct, then this alternate angle means if I take this here, see, you can understand now, this and this angle will be what? Alternate angle, correct. And this is normal here hmm, to this surface. If this is angle theta then this alternate angle will be also theta so remaining angle will be 90 minus theta so this angle will be again theta you can understand by geometry if this angle is theta this angle will be also theta now 
what will be this component adjacent to the angle theta that component will be n cos theta always remember the component near to theta adjacent to theta that will be n cos theta and the component is opposite to theta means this component opposite to theta means this component that will be n sin theta that is perpendicular component adjacent n cos theta and this will be n sin theta now friction is going to act here when we consider the lower limit lower speed limit we have to consider the friction away from the center we have to consider the friction away from the center and now we have to split again this frictional force into two components that component will be one is here that is perpendicular component and this will be the horizontal component correct now if this angle is theta this angle is also theta corresponding angle see this one parallel this is transversal so this theta and this theta will be the corresponding angles so this component that is adjacent to theta or near to theta that will be fs cos of theta and this perpendicular component will be fs sin of theta component of static friction or frictional force okay that will be fs sin theta fs cos theta now if you observe again the figure you are going to know or you comes to know that this n cos theta get and this fs sin theta both n cos theta and fs sin theta balances the wet force mg this both are in upward direction and only wet force mg it is in downward direction correct so i can write this mg is equal to n cos theta plus fs sin theta you are getting this see these two forces n cos theta and fs sin theta this two components are balancing weight force mg so i can write mg is equal to n cos theta plus fs sin theta take this equation number 1 now this n sin theta is providing centripetal force correct but this fs cos theta opposing it correct if it is not here then this n sin theta will provide the centripetal force but this frictional component is there that is component of frictional force is present here which is opposing this n sin theta means centripetal force here present will be the subtraction of this both correct n sin theta is providing the centripetal force but this is opposing to that so i have to subtract this fs cos theta from this n sin theta so what i will write see n sin theta minus fs cos theta this force this subtraction will provide centripetal force and we know the formula for centripetal force as mv square by r so we get here two equations first it is mg is equal to n cos theta plus fs sin theta that these two forces n cos theta fs sin theta are balancing the weight force mg therefore mg is equal to n cos theta plus fs sin theta equation number 1 and this n sin theta is providing actually centripetal force but this fs cos theta opposing it it is in opposite direction so i have to subtract it from n sin theta so n sin theta minus fs cos theta this subtraction will provide the centripetal force that is mv square by r this will be equation number 2 and what we want we want this v square that is v we want the lower speed limit so i will divide equation number 2 by 1 equation number 2 will be divided by mg then we get mv square by r mg that is equal to n sin theta minus fs cos theta divided by n cos theta plus fs sin theta 
Okay, but we know that Fs is nothing but mu s into n. Correct? Coefficient of static friction and this is the normal reaction. So, m, m get cancelled here. V square upon R and Rg is equal to, we will put this mu s n in each term that is Fs, Fs here. We will put this value mu s into n. What we will get? n sine theta minus Fs cos theta divided by, ah, sorry, here we are going to put in mu s n. Therefore, mu s into n. Then n cos theta plus mu s into n sine of theta. Now, what we will do now, see, here there is a n cos theta, here also n cos theta. Now, we have to divide whole term on right side by n cos theta. Means we are going to divide numerator and denominator by n cos theta. There will be no change then. I am going to divide whole numerator and whole denominator by n cos theta. So what I will get? V square upon Rg is equal to. If I divide this n sine theta by n cos theta, n n will get cancelled and sine theta upon cos theta that will be tan theta. So here the term will be tan theta. Now minus, minus mu s n cos theta upon n cos theta, n cos theta will get cancelled and remaining part will be only mu s divided by n cos theta divided by n cos theta that will be 1 and plus mu s n sin theta upon n cos theta, n n will get cancelled and remaining will be sin theta upon cos theta that will be mu s tan theta, mu s tan theta. See, I have directly write this term, directly dividing this all the terms by n cos theta. n cos theta, that is n n get cancelled, only remaining will be tan theta. If I divide this by n cos theta, n cos theta will get cancelled, only remaining will be mu s. If I divide this by n cos theta, n cos theta will get cancelled, remaining will be only 1. And here, if I divide by n cos theta, n n will get cancelled, sin theta upon cos theta will be tan theta and mu s as it is. So, what will be v square? v square will be rg into tan theta minus mu s upon 1 plus mu s tan of theta. So, V is equal to under root Rg into bracket tan theta minus mu s upon 1 plus mu s tan of theta. This is the expression for lower speed limit when the vehicle will move along a banked road. Means this is the lower speed limit. By this lower speed, this must be required. Lower speed limit means below that it is not allowed. That is lower speed limit is under root Rg in bracket tan theta minus mu s upon 1 plus mu s tan theta. So this is the expression for lower speed limit. See in this expression you can observe if you do not consider any friction. Means this mu s will get cancelled, means mu s will be 0. In last expression that is v is equal to under root r g tan theta, in that expression we have not considered any friction. Now if I consider here there is a no friction, that is mu s is equal to 0. If I put that mu s is equal to 0, what I will get see? Mu s will become 0, that is minus 0 and here mu s is equal to 0, that is mu s tan theta will become also 0. Then what will be the remaining value that is v is equal to under root r g tan theta. Same formula will be there. This is the formula for lower speed limit. That is v is equal to under root r g in bracket tan theta minus mu s upon 1 plus mu s tan theta. You understood this expression? There will be in exam they will ask this for 3 marks this expression that is derive the expression for 
lower speed limit when the vehicle is moving along a banked curve road you understood this if you got this point like my channel share and subscribe it and also press the bell icon so that you will get the notification about next lecture and also if you have any doubt regarding this derivation or also any numerical about the rotational dynamics you can comment me in the comment box i will give you the answer for that okay thank you